Hello, caller. Yes, hello. Hi, Sue. It's great to see so many green women and even the climate table, and it's really cool to look there. And then for a thing, that's all it is. I was wondering, though, how we can like organize to get Nancy Pelosi to carry the Josh Wolf flame. Mm -hmm. First hundred hours to say, okay, I'm the head. I'm the head of the journalist shield law at the federal level. So we can get people like Josh Wolf and even the Falco reporters off. That can be something. And also, I think Nicole versus the third three, that's she didn't have to be done. Yeah. You know what, Mark? Hey, Mark. Um, you know, actually, um, Ray Toby and Susan King and I were out sitting out having a drink a few weeks ago when we were talking about Nicole Dursey and the possibility that she might run. And that's actually in the second we're half of the show, but it doesn't matter. We can talk about it whenever. And I love that idea of the shield law, the federal shield law to protect people like Josh Wolf. Um, Although I have questions about whether or not I want to protect Judith Miller, but you know she's a journalist; she deserves it. Um, yeah, that's it. Does anyone want to take up that issue of the shield law? For um, I, I think it's a great idea. Well, I think it's yeah, wonderful. I could chime in. I mean, I think that um, it's been brought up. I think that Josh Wolf. It's kind of ridiculous that the federal government has gone after this because it's really a local issue. Of course, it's it's horrifying that that a, a local police officer was injured in this a small anarchist demonstration or whatever it was. But um, certainly, you know, he needs to be able to protect his confidential sources. Journalism is the only. Um, profession that is protected by the U.S. Constitution, and there's a reason for that. And I think, you know, I mean, sometimes, as the case with Judith Miller, you know, a lot of us were wanting her to reveal her source, but I think I read something that some other journalists were saying about it. I think in the case of Judith Miller, she didn't necessarily owe the court her sources, but she really kind of owed it to the public because basically what had happened in that case was somebody was outing a CIA operative as a, a case of political backstabbing, and that in and of itself was a story that she should have been revealing. So I think that's kind of the point yeah. there. But when it comes to Josh Wolf, I think he's doing something call? admirable. Okay.